Protests continue in India following the government's approval last week of a proposal that opens the door to foreign investment in the country's retail sector. The move would enable international retail giants like Walmart, Carrefour and Tesco to open the retail stores in India. But it is facing stiff resistance. Opposition parties have stalled parliament with boisterous protests and small traders have taken to the streets. Bismillah Galani has the story. The Manmohan Singh government is already in a tight corner over its failure to control rising food and fuel prices. Its decision to allow foreign investment in the retail sector proved to be an invitation to more trouble. The opposition parties are unanimously opposing the move. As soon as the parliament convened Tuesday, the members of a united opposition were up on their feet once again, shouting slogans and forcing adjournment of the house for the sixth day. The opposition is demanding the government reverse its decision immediately. Murli Manohar Joshi is a senior leader with the main opposition Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP. This is a very lopsided and anti-people decision. Foreign investment in the retail sector is neither in the interest of the country nor in the interest of small traders and farmers. Multinational companies like Walmart and Carefor have displaced people wherever they have gone and many small farmers and traders are now protesting against them. We cannot hand over our retail trade to these companies this is not acceptable. Outside the parliament, small traders continue their protest against the decision. They say the entry of foreign companies in the retail sector will destroy their livelihood. Sudeep Shekhar is a member of a local traders federation. They will sell everything from water to cloth to mobile phones and we will be automatically finished. The small retailers fear losing their entire customer base. Even now when the foreigners haven't yet come, the customers think twice before going to a retail shop. They have a wider choice at the malls and prefer going there. Now when everything will be under their control, the small shopkeeper is simply going to die of hunger. The retail sector is the second largest employer in India after agriculture. An estimated 20 million people depend on it for their livelihood. A majority of them are small and marginal traders, like mom and pop store owners, hawkers and street vendors. Sheikha says, besides displacing these groups, the multinational retail chains will also have an adverse impact on India's fast-growing economy. Our economy is largely driven by domestic production. We produce what we consume ourselves, but the new arrangement will make us dependent on foreign goods and eventually our self-sufficiency will come to an end. We've already seen what has happened to our cotton production and other things. So this, in a way, is a conspiracy to destroy our economy. The traders have called for a nationwide shutdown strike on December 1st to demand revocation of the cabinet decision. All the opposition parties have supported the strike, but the government shows no signs of backing down. Bismillah Gilani, Free Speech Radio News, New Delhi.